What's up YouTube, so I thought I'd make a quick video uh, showing you guys how to get free Nintendo DS games. Now this has been possible for like years but there used to be a website you could get it from and it's recently been closed down but a new one's come up so I thought I'd just let you guys know about it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need this USB sort of memory stick, quite easy to get hold of. Obviously you're going to need an R4 card, this one's an R4i Gold. It works on Nintendo DS Lights and Nintendo DSIs, etc. And uh, you're gonna also want to need your SD card. It's important you need this. All right. So the website you want to go on, you want to go um, Google Chrome. Right. Just type into Google Nitro ROMs. So you can see what I'm typing here. Right, Nitro ROMs. Um, it should automatically search. It doesn't matter if it doesn't. Just press the top link. So Nitro ROMs, DS ROMs, PSP ROMs, and more. Press on that. Comes up to the website. Um, type in whatever game you want. So I'm just going to get all time classics. Because a friend um, has requested this. Let's go all times classics in the search bar. Up top, search. All right, it should come up with one here. Um, I recommend getting either from America or UK. This one's from Europe. It might be foreign, but you know it doesn't matter with this one. It's you know it's, it's just a mini game, so you'll be able to play in any language. But yeah, I, I recommend getting it from UK or America. Um, right, download link up there. Let's press download, and it should just start downloading at the bottom. Now the download download speed from this website is pretty good. Um, I've managed to download a 205 MB game in under 10 minutes, so it's pretty quick. And I'm going to get back to you lot when it's finished downloading. Right, so I've finished downloading it. If you're on Google Chrome, it's quite simple to use. Just press show all downloads, show all folder. Or you can just alternatively save it to your desktop. Right, so once you've got it, it's very important you do this. You've got to right click and then press extract here. You, you need WinRAR to do this, and WinRAR is available for free. Right, so when you've extracted it, it will come up with a folder here. Go in it, and you're going to see two folders with two different names. Don't worry about this, it's completely normal. So you you want you want to highlight them both, right click, extract here again. Gonna to, gotta to go through the process, and then you're gonna see your NDS file here. You need this NDS file because that's the actual thing you put on the R4 card. What you want to do, and for continue, I sort of messed up at the beginning of the video. The USB memory stick you need has to support SD cards. It's gonna to have to have a slot at the back, up there, if you can see it, because this SD card has to go in the back for it to work so let me just put my camera down quickly right so you're going to want to push it in the back and the reason I didn't show that is because I'm recording on my iPhone you can't pause which is kind of a fail but yeah just push the USB memory stick in the back um, and then basically just obviously you know plug it into your memory stick, your um sorry, USB device, USB port. Okay, so once it's plugged in it's gonna come up, it's gonna recognise it. It's gonna go down and press click to view files. Right. Um as you can see I've already I've already put one game on there. So it's just to add to it, you simply just go over to the all times classic folder and you want to drag the NDS file onto your removable disk in whatever drive you've got it in, mine's F drive so you literally just want to drag it over you're going to copy okay that's it that's all, you, that's all it, that's, that's all you have to do, that's, that's how to get DS games for free, now to test this working I'm going to be loading it into my DS so to do that, you want to unplug your USB memory stick. Okay. 
So here it is. This is what you need. So all you've got to do now is stick it in the back of your R4 card. It's quite simple. It's a little slot. So you just slide it in. I'm going to try and do this one hand as I can pause. There we go. Okay, so it's in there. Now you've got to take your DS and then slide it in. Okay. Open the DS up. Okay, it should come up with our R4 card. Alright, so you got R4, and over here you got like um, game, music, and file browser. So you just want to go on game. Oh, sorry. Hold on. So, uh, it's been different. Right, I've, right, I think that's a screensaver. So just press A, go on game. Okay, so there you go, all times classics is underneath, it's the second icon, so I just want to select that by pressing the uh, arrow keys, obviously. Don't worry where the screen keeps going, it's because of my screensaver I've set it to. Okay, so you just want to press on it. It's going to say create save files, press A again, and you can see a line go across the screen. Should take about 30 seconds. Okay, and let's go and load the game. And there we go. There we have it. 3DS game.